So that's my class that I teach. But if art isn't your forte, here are some other ideas that would work with the same format. So the first idea is stem tales. So, and I'm totally stealing this from my sister. This was her class that she taught. So I am stealing it from her. So the idea for this class is you choose a fairy tale, like the three little pigs, you read the story and then work on a project. So the project could be building a house uh, out of different materials like popsicle sticks and then testing it to see if it can withstand the big bad wolf. And a hairdryer is a great way to uh, try and blow the house down. So for all the projects, you can use the engineering design process for the STEM part of STEM Tales. So that's what my sister did. She kind of simplified it down to about five steps. And I'll leave a link so that you can see um, what the whole design process is. But uh, you can definitely you simplify this, especially if you're teaching elementary students. Um, so simplify this process down and apply it to their projects. Did it withstand? What could you do different? How you know different things like that? You can make um, you can make uh, pasta bridges. There's so many things that you can make, and then stories that you can tie uh, to it. So again, you have your story, then you would have your project or the teaching, and then a project. So the next class, the next idea for you is Lego building. So you can use a book like the Lego Ideas book for your project ideas. And of course, I'll leave the link below. So you can you choose a project from the book and then give a little history about it. So if you want them to build a monument or you want them to build trucks or whatever it is you want them to build. So give a little history, then let the kids build. Or you can split the class up a bit differently. Let the kids build for the first, free build for the first 10 minutes, transition to your topic, then have the kids build the project. So this is another class of, again, if art isn't for you, but you're thinking like, I do want to teach and you just need some ideas. These are some great ideas for you. So two more ideas. So the next would be to teach composers. Since Mike Venenzia also has books on this topic, you can easily teach a class on great composers. You can substitute music clips for the artwork flashcards, and you can create a lap book for the composers you're teaching. Finally, going, we're going to shift back to science and there's all Mike Venenzia also has a book on inventors. So you could do the exact same thing uh, if you want to teach inventors. Instead of an art project, you can substitute it for a science project from... And whether you mimic one of the inventors' projects or, you know, try to um, come up with something different, you can still do the, the history side and then do the project. So I hope that... This has given you just so many ideas for a co-op class. Uh, I really, the whole point of this was to really help you banish any hesitation and to get the ideas flowing. So you can teach a homeschooling co-op class that is fun and exciting to teach. So let me know the class you've decided to teach in the comments below. I am so glad you joined me today. Uh, again, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is just a huge support. I cannot uh, express to you how big of a deal this is in helping to really support the channel. And remember to check out the Life Unbox store for all of your Mom Boss merch. For more great mom entrepreneur content, follow Life Unbox on social media. Check out lifeunbox.blog or download the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. Be sure to share the podcast, website, and video with your friends. And I will see you in the next video.